Hi everyone, Brick Nut here. I've got an update on the Lego room. So, as you know from the last video, I started on that side of the room by dismantling the existing tables after I'd cleared all the Lego City off of them, leaving one in the middle for storage. Well, as you can see, I have uh, the framework up. That's not the permanent top, that's the old ply on there temporarily just so I could sit all that stuff on there for storage. Um, I'm still going to use MDF, I just haven't got any yet. Same for the shelf below. Um, I've actually realised that these gaps between each leg are uh, rather wide so I'm going to have to put an extra support in. Otherwise, I think the uh, MDF is going to sag a bit in the middle, and I don't want that, so... Um, yeah, that actually went really, really well. I'm surprised. No technical glitches or anything. Um, so, as you know, I start by the door. So I'm start at this end. See what I mean by the gaps being a bit wide between these legs? So, uh, I'm going to put... A another support across here on the shelf in the middle and the same on the top here so I'm getting another two, four, six I uh, don't know if I'm going to have enough timber here for that I'm going to have to get some more anyway so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get or try to get the tables done right where I'm standing actually behind the camera first and then see what timber I am actually going to have to go and buy from B&Q so there's the next one I've got all my tubs and things under there out of the way as well now there is a reason this gap here is smaller than the rest because th from this leg to the radiator there is a leg hiding there somewhere behind those trays it's actually the correct distance for the width of a table. So uh, I did that intentionally because I thought it was going to look odd if I continued, where's my pointer, if I continued this leg all the way in the same length as the others. Um, well it was either that or have one big gap down there but I thought that would actually look better when I've got the um, other table in. Now I'm going to change the, the uh, design a little bit by the window there, here, in this gap, I've actually decided that is where the lower table is going to go for like the beach or lake scene, whatever I decide to call it. And I'm going to make a road bridge somehow, I haven't decided what, why I'm going to go about that yet, as well as a Lego, br um, a Lego bridge, a railway bridge as well. So I'm going to put two bridges across there, I hope. Uh, with the uh, beach scene down below. That's the plan. And I might, underneath the road, because I'm not going to do that as a bridge, I was thinking of trying to blend it in so it looks like the road goes across the top of a cliff or something. That's my general thinking. <laughs> and I was going to put like a little cave or something in at the bottom. That's the plan. Um, and the, uh, the second thing I'm going to have to change, just bear with me for a moment while I uh, switch you around. So, there we go. The other thing I'm going to have to change is the computer's going to have to stay exactly where it is. Because um, I didn't realise just how close the end of this table was and how far out it came. And by the time I get the sign done this side, I'm really not going to have a lot of space down there for the computer to go along that wall. Um, and it's still going to feel rather enclosed around the computer. So what I'm going to do instead is just go down to the end of this computer desk. So that will go from this window down to there. It's a case of you know, not having much choice. What I could do, I could shrink my desk down by a long shot actually, but I don't want to do that because I actually do need that space as it's going to double up as my uh, 
workspace for building and whatnot, as well as the other bench when I've got it cleared. Yeah, shelving that's uh, underneath this and behind the chair. So, uh, yeah, I decided I'm just going to go up to the computer desk. And uh, as you can see, I've had a bit of a whoopsie with this power outlet. There's a little speaker here. This used to sit on the bench that was sitting here. You can see the line across the wall. Um, but I didn't take it down to paint the walls when I redecorated a couple of years ago. Anyway, I put said speaker here up on here so I could take the desk down. Problem is, the top of my computer case is not flat. It sort of goes up to a little point. And I forgot about that when I went and sat down at my computer and I knocked into my desk knocked the speaker off and it fell down and has broken this outlet so I'm going to have to fix that before I do install any benches um, the outlet itself is fine it's the um, box that the front piece actually screws to that's um, been smashed so I will have to replace it not a problem, because I was going to have to take that one apart anyway, because I want to move this one to, um, underneath that desk, so I want to move that along. So I'd have had to have taken that one apart anyway. So it's not really a, a huge deal. I'll tidy up some cables as well. So really, all I've got left to do on this side, apart from repair that socket, is just find a home for all these uh, vintage Lego sets and then take the shelves off the wall. And I'm not sure if I'm going to take them all down or just go up and leave the top two. Actually I wouldn't mind moving the top two a little further that way because obviously my record player and everything in that corner is going to be put underneath all the tables as well out of the way. Um, I've got to lower the chest of drawers, which I've just realised is on wheels. So maybe I can take those wheels off and that'll give me the clearance I need. I hope. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. I've got to find a home somewhere for these as well. I kind of forgot about those when I uh, put the shelving in behind me. Not that that's a problem, because I can take a beam out if I need to. In fact... I might actually do that right where I'm standing. Uh, that might actually be a bit awkward. Oh, I'll, I'll cross that bridge later. I'll just sort that out. So uh, that is as far as I've got. I've been a bit busy the last couple of days doing a few other things. I've got a Lego Creator set down there to build. Um, and also actually bought a Lego City set. That's the first time since lockdown began that I've actually bought a Lego City set. And I want to do a review on that one because I actually quite like it. So there could be a review coming next week. Right. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to mention. No, nope, I don't think there's any other changes. I might, I might think of them when, once I've uh, shut the camera down. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. And, uh, of course, I'm always open to suggestions. If you've got any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And, as I always do, I'll leave links to the Discord server and the Facebook page as well, so you can follow those for updates if you wish. And uh, I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye!